Hello there, I'm Mary Cronert from the Living Room Community Art Studio, and today we're going to show you how to make a no-sew eye pillow so that you can soothe your eyes after a long day of staring at screens. When you and your eyes are feeling tired, an eye pillow can help you relax, find relief, and refocus. While you can purchase them in stores and online, this DIY no-sew version can be made out of simple materials you might already have on hand. For this activity, you will need an old t-shirt, scissors, a ruler, three cups total of rice and or lentils, a pencil crayon, marker or chalk, a spoon, a piece of scrap paper, and your favorite essential oils. Prepare your materials and when you're ready, unfold and lay out your t-shirt so that it's flat and smooth and choose what part of it you'd like to become your eye pillow. The great thing about creating your own eye pillow is that it can be made to measure so that it drapes over your eyes in the way that you like best. For our sizing, we used a letter-sized envelope as a guide initially, scaling it down slightly to customize the fit. Once you have the right size for yourself, trace the shape onto your fabric with a contrasting color of pencil crayon, marker, or chalk. We made a cardboard template out of a cereal box to make the tracing a bit easier. Once your main pattern is transferred onto the fabric, use your ruler to measure out and draw another rectangle around the first creating a border of about an inch or more. When you're done, you should see the drawn outline of a smaller rectangle inside a larger one. Now grab your scissors and cut out your pattern, cutting along the lines of the second, larger rectangle. Take your time, making sure that your fabric is laying flat as you go. Once you've cut out your pattern, feel free to set aside the rest of the t-shirt for other craft projects. Next, with your fabric pieces lying flat, right sides facing out, and using the inside corner of the smaller rectangle as a guide, start cutting through both layers of fabric to create a border of fringe around the center rectangle. Your fringe pieces should be roughly a quarter of an inch wide and go right up to the edge of the center rectangle's border, but no further. When you come to the next outer corner of the small rectangle, turn the piece of fabric and continue cutting along the next side until all sides of the rectangle are fringed. We're creating a no sew pillow today, but if you happen to have a sewing machine handy, feel free to stitch your eye pillow seams using the inside edge of the smaller rectangle as a guide, leaving a two inch opening for filling your pillow. Once it's filled, stitch the opening closed. For those of us making the no sew pillow, this is where things get a little naughty. Starting at one of the corners, separate the top and bottom of the first piece of fringe and tie the corresponding pieces together in a secure double knot. Once that's done, move on to the next piece of fringe and do the same, repeating the process, making sure that the knots are tied tightly enough to leave no gaps or openings between fringe segments. Unlike other woven fabric, t-shirt fabric won't fray and should stretch just enough to allow you to tie these knots easily. If you tie a fringe too loosely, that's okay too. You can undo the knot and tie it again more securely without damaging your eye pillow. It's a bit fiddly, but once you get the hang of tying these tiny knots, time will fly by. This project should be fun, not frustrating. So take breaks when you need to, stretch out your hands if they start getting stiff, and remember to breathe. 
Us humans can be pretty hard on ourselves sometimes. And in life, there are some tasks and projects that have deadlines and time limits. This doesn't have to be one of them. I'd like to invite you to take as much time as you need to finish this project. Trust in the process, be kind to yourself, and take one moment at a time. One piece of fringe at a time. When you get close to finishing, take a break from tying knots, leaving an approximately two inch opening of untied fringe, and set your eye pillow fabric aside so that you can prepare the filling. There are many different fillings you can use for your eye pillow. We've chosen to use rice and lentils since that's what we had on hand. If you have a sensitivity to fragrance, you can always leave out the oils and simply mix your ingredients and continue. But if you would like to make your eye pillow scented, add just one or two drops of essential oil into each bowl and stir to distribute it throughout the filling. I've chosen to use relaxing lavender and peppermint oils in mine, but you can use any scent you like. Just remember, a little bit of essential oil goes a very long way. And since this is an eye pillow, we wouldn't want to use anything that would aggravate our eyes or the sensitive skin around them. Once you've mixed your scents in, if you're using more than one type of filling, now's the time to combine them. Then grab your eye pillow fabric so that we can begin filling. Take your piece of scrap paper and roll it to create an open-ended cone that will act as a kind of funnel. Fit your paper funnel into the opening in your eye pillow, trying not to lose any of the fringe inside, and gently spoon in your filling, adjusting the pillow as necessary until it's full. Once your pillow is filled, simply tie off the remaining fringe pieces, re-knotting any loose edges where gaps have appeared or where the filling may be falling out. And there you have it. Your very own customized no-sew eye pillow. It can be gently warmed in the microwave or chilled in the refrigerator and placed over closed eyes when you lay down for a five minute break or meditation. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you get a chance to make yourself an eye pillow out of an old t-shirt sometime soon. It's pretty relaxing. Ah. <laughs>